Alden High School senior Michaela Wandel is a lot like her dad. They share a sense of humor and positive outlook on life, but that wasn't always the case. My father became addicted to meth before I was ever born, so he'd already been suffering for a while when I came into the world. Growing up, Michaela's life was anything but normal. Having a father who was addicted to crystal methamphetamine meant Michaela didn't see much of him as a child. Growing up with a father addicted to meth was, of course, difficult because he was consumed with his addiction and he wasn't necessarily able to support me and my brother. When my dad went to jail for the first time, um, me and my brother moved in with our grandparents and they're the people who raised me. And without them, I don't know where I would have been. At one point, drug addiction even caused Michaela's father to live on the streets. But when Michaela was 10 years old, he became clean. And over the years, they were able to rebuild their relationship. He's a totally different person. He's my dad now. And so I'm able to like talk to him about anything and joke around and I can actually spend time with my father now. Michaela's unusual childhood has inspired her to give back to people going through rough times. I volunteer at places like the Hawaii Meth Project where I do like meth outreach and then um, at like Feed My Sheep where because my father was homeless for a period of time when I was growing up. And so it's my way of like giving back to people who are in the same situation. Michaela also realized that she could use her story to inspire others. She was invited to speak at TEDx Youth at Seabury Hall. My message was that no matter where you come from, you're still able to do whatever you want. Don't listen to these statistical profiles that you should be anything else than what you want to be. Because you can do it. A student there who had never really heard this came up to me afterwards and was like, he was in tears and he was like, you know, thank you for telling me that because I've never heard that before. And it really touched me because I was able to help someone else be inspired to believe in themselves. And it was a really important moment for me. Michaela plans to continue inspiring others by sharing her story. She says she achieved success by embracing her past, not ignoring it. Those are all things I'm really proud of and I wouldn't have done or found if it wasn't for those harder times as a child. So I wouldn't change anything about my life. And I think it's a happy life. This has been Jessica Pressman from HP Baldwin High School for Hiki Now.